Hello and welcome back. This is still Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, this is the baddest entertainment analysis show that does it better than any other, if I do say so myself. While sipping tea, we serve you with the hottest news, celebrity gist, and break it down for you, obviously. And I cannot forget to mention that we have everything pertaining lifestyle on lockdown as well. So basically, this is your all-encompassing show. And today, I have Ifalu Oshike and myself. Uh, we're going to be having the discussion with a special guest anchor. Yes, let's put it that way. And uh, that's one other than Quincy Jones. Hello, oh. guys. Hey Welcome. Guys. Quincy, Quincy Jones. Yes, ma'am. If I don't see your face, I would what's, say that your name that is very gen, white. I, I feel like this he show says, is now says. gender inclusive. Mm. Yeah. What's yes. that? Why? Male gender has been included. Nah. Okay, so, uh, yeah. so until a male gender has been included, you know? can you imagine? No, no. Welcome. See them. You deserve, we'll take champagne. <laughs> we'll pump bottles after the show. Let's just manage the tea. <laughs> Quincy, have you, do you know that your name, eh, if you if you take it abroad, your life will be really easy? Because when you start applying for jobs. Yeah, until I show races, up, right? Exactly. Until and then they'll be like, what? What? And then they what? Well, you have a problem with it's like, it's like, well, oh, I, oh, I didn't expect you. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, welcome it's to nice the timetable. Yeah. Tell us about yeah. yourself. Tell us about, you know, real quick. I'm sure those guys are wondering. Who's um, this for that? I start with the fact that I'm the greatest. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, at everything I do. Mm. Yeah, my mom reiterated that yesterday. So I'm feeling like I'm the greatest. <laughs> I'm just messing around. <laughs> um, uh, you know, been in the broadcast uh, industry for a while, you know. Mm. Uh, also a music curator. Uh, and entertainment analyst. Mm. Uh, what else? It's, it's a lot of stuff. A and R. Okay. Know, yeah, okay. Stuff like that. Okay. Yeah, All right. Which, I like I'm, that. I'm the realist. The realist. Actually. Mm. Oh, I like how, that. How real have you been that you know it's kind of affected somebody with your real? Everybody. Everybody around will tell you. Anyone who knows me will tell mm. you. Mm. Yeah, it's a fact. Uh, it's the voice I like, actually. I, yeah. that, those radio people used to, yeah, they used to, they used to have like their dream that, voice like yeah. this. And yeah, you love like, a lot like more. This, no, yeah, yeah, no, yeah, no, no. you get to know me, you love a lot more. Yeah, oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. okay. All right. Gender, so. <laughs> then gender has been included, for real. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, let's, let's do this. Um, the, we have, I think, interesting topics, and I'd like to obviously hear your opinions, and I'm sure the rest of the world would I've also like so that. Mm. All righty, let's do it then. Nollywood actress, producer, Twain Abraham has reacted to Rugged Man's recent tweet questioning why actresses make more money than their male counterparts in Nollywood. Abraham took to her Instagram page to say, and I quote, it is important that I put this out there, that many women make money and make good money legitimately. I know actresses who charge 2 million, 3 million, and 5 million in this Nollywood. I get paid in millions of Naira for gigs. And um, this is her saying, not me, guys. You can see her my life. I know a lot of men in Nollywood who are doing extraordinarily well and paid in millions as well. The fact that most of these men choose not to make noise on social media do not in any way mean that they are second class citizens in the industry. We need to stop attributing every woman's um, success to her sexual prowess with men. Women deserve the success they have as much as men without attributing it to their sexuality. End of quote. All right. So now that we have men in, uh, gender inclusive uh, table. I think mm. we can do justice to this conversation. Yeah, you know my favorite part of uh, the entire story? Mm -mm. So she says sexual powers. I'm like, what? I knew that. Yeah. How, how, like, why? Uh, I, you know that thing where you know English words, but you don't know how to use, use them. I think wow. that that was, even sexuality, like women's sexuality is not what that she's trying to explain, wow. I think. But Going for the jugular. She's, you know, she's a human <laughs> actress, so I think we would not Wow. Allow. Okay, is that, so, is that what we're doing here? Yeah, so, okay. so what's your take? What's your take? So uh, this is it, right? I think this whole thing started with um, Rugged Man posting something mm -hmm. about, you know, the male um, actors in Nigeria and how it looks like it's just the female actors, uh, actresses you know, uh, buying houses, uh, building, buying cars, building mm. houses, and all of that. And yeah. it's really obvious. Yeah. Nkechi buys today. I, I don't even know these actresses, mm. but now I know them from all the cars they bought, yeah. you know, yeah. and all of that. But um, in its actual fact, it kind of really looks like that. But, you know, with Tony Abraham coming out to say what she said, um, uh, on a personal note, I don't think I really agree. Mm. Do you know what I mean? It's not really about uh, who buys the most cars or who shows it. It's really about, do the men really get the money? Mm. Do you get what I mean? Yeah. All okay, right, so, so... Okay, go on. Go on. Um, I think I've been, I've been fortunate enough to work with actresses on a, uh, you know, close on a very space. close proximity. So I would start by saying that a lot of these women that I've met don't just act. Mm. 
they do a lot like what? more things. Like what? A lot of people that I've met, and this is very common, real estate in that and in that yeah. um, acting scene. Boutiques. Boutiques, um, restaurants. Yeah. Mm, um, there's another one. You know, oh. men do all these things too. Yes, but, see, but do you know the thing? Because before we got on, I called my um, male actor friend. Yes, okay, actor, yes, there's a guy. <laughs> <laughs> so I called him up, right? And I asked him, he said, look, the problem is not if we are making money. He's talking about what are our movies doing? Look, they spend a lot of money. You see a movie with a 300 million budget, 400 million budget, 500 million budget, and they use half of the money to pay these actors. Do you understand? Yeah. And hence why we get BS productions. Do you understand? Right. Because if you put the money into a production and these guys are just professional, take their normal fee and work towards mm. it, and the industry gets bigger, they will pay everyone equal and we won't be having this conversation to even start with because everybody is good. Yeah, Do you understand? I, I, I mean, so I, I, now, I, I, coming mm. back to this now, this lady is saying they pay them five million and of course they pay a lot of guys but if you have the money, the way she would rock a five million would be different from the way I rock my five million. Yeah, because I probably put my right? yeah, I probably put my five million into bills, mm -hmm. put it into cement and sand. She <laughs> probably put it into bone straight air, not because but because it's a brand. Yeah. Because yeah. that brings yeah. out more money. Yeah. yeah. Do you yeah. understand? Okay. So it's our yeah. brand yeah. Mm -hmm. and it's my brand to keep grinding. Yeah. Do you understand? Yeah. So I think that's just what it is. So it's not even like an argument because I've seen a lot of actors, you know, guys that make me too. Loads I've seen a lot money. of male actors that have Loads. made a lot of money. And when you said that the industry, um, you mentioned something about like if the industry earns more or you know pays better, then we'll have this conversation. I think we'll always have this conversation in regards to women. Why don't we have it in, um, in, in Hollywood like that? We have it know. maybe when it comes no, to but it is, but it is everywhere. It, no, no it, but we it don't is. talk about it in Hollywood like this. We're talking about awards now. When we're talking about Hollywood, we're looking at disparities that oh, the guys are getting more awards, the girls are getting more awards, the they're getting more roles. You know, those are the things we no, talk about. Not I, pay. I, I, you see, uh, no, we talk about pay. We talk about pay on a every every time. Every, every scale. Every time. Every not scale. Not as much as, as, we as do journalists, in as, as, as actors, as, actors, as, as bankers, everything. as well, as. Well, Angelina Jolie buy a house in America, and somebody would say oh she slept with the governor of california absolutely Obviously not no 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 no, 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 no. guys there is, there, is, no. <laughs> there is the conversation around women and payment globally that, there is see listen that. we're talking that, about see, attributing it to their sexual prowess yes <laughs> yes because because a lot of people even abroad a lot of people um attribute uh, what's it called now? Uh, getting gigs, getting mm. the leg into the industry through their their bodies. That's not an so, African thing. Sorry, that lady has six so kids, nobody, man. nobody, nobody's gonna say this. <laughs> huh? Nobody's gonna say it. No one is well, gonna. Well. The fact that women are more favored. No, that that's a fact. See, now we know that it's but, the truth. But let you let know me, what? It's just normal. It's just normal. It's just simple logic, right? Most times you have men mostly at the helm of affairs, mm. right? Unfortunately, a lot of men would allow the female. Uh, okay, no, it's not time to use those words. Um, uh, what's he called? Uh, the, the, they would allow, you know, the attraction towards a female, notwithstanding the appearance mm -hmm. or not, not mm -hmm. even being picky whatsoever, to govern however they make their decisions. Right. Unlike women, women at the hands of affairs. Um, uh, I'm going to look at who's better, and also I'm going to support my female. Mm. So nobody's out here trying to look out for a man. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So unconsciously. That's how it is. is That's how it is wired. You can't go Even beyond the. Even we men are looking <laughs> out for we men. Come on. Okay, guys. Can <laughs> no, we, you can didn't we, get that. I do. I do. But can you we? Did, right? Can we? Can we um, also bring it to the fact that it's still a man's world, and that in terms I mean, of, I don't agree. in terms of, why do you get to pick and choose when agree. it's a man's world and when yeah, it's a woman's what world? What do you mean pick and choose? Are you you acting like I just agree with what you were saying. Even the song, it's a man's world. It's actually about a woman. Yeah, guys. Okay, this is how I would say it. Uh, I think in terms of how the society is structured, how in, who is closer to getting that money in terms of um, jobs, in terms of um, getting access to who provides the money, I think mm. men have it easier that in that regard. Wrong. In my opinion, as as men have I think it easier. I think ha men have it easier. I think if you look at if you look at, ha. Huh, I wish I, ha I brought more numbers because I didn't think that you, people, you guys would be saying this right now. No, because you should have thought of it. It's fact. I don't think so. You don't think women no. are do you more think, favored? Do you mm -hmm. think that... I, think, I think women are favored, yes, in, in that regard. They're greatly favored. 
Wait, let me let me let me explain. If you're talking about if you're talking about like society in, in terms of like society where you know men favor women in ter like taking care of them, yes, in this country, yes, yeah, I but agree. You see, there's an, always an unconscious. There's always that unconscious. Every guy is, every guy ha um, almost every guy has a Superman complex. Mm. Do you understand? Almost every guy believes he needs to take care of the next oh, woman. Yes. Mm. Do you understand? Even if he's not interested sexually or not. Do you know what I mean? What do you, so, where, where is that coming from? Where's that from coming from? A it's not. It's, 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 from it's having just, a mother. I no, it's because, that. it's because it's because guys. It is because no, 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 no. It is because for the longest time, women have been incapable of taking care of themselves. Look at history, guys. Let's not pretend like we don't know where that is coming from. History. People have men have been a lot more capable of taking care of themselves first. When you were the, you were the only ones allowed to go to school, you're the only ones that were allowed to get jobs. The patriarchal Wait, system, let me finish. No doubt. You're the only it's ones right. that were allowed to do all those things. Women were not allowed to vote. We're, we're, we're supposed to sit down at home. Think about the history of hunting and not hunting. So, what no, are you no, talking it's about? Great, it's Grace you brought it up, right? Uh -huh. So, so guess what? That, that is exactly where that comes from. Check this out. Check this out, right? So, um, all these things happened. Mm -hmm. Fact. It was terrible fact mm -hmm. but all in all when the man does all he does makes all the money mm -hmm. and comes back home mm -hmm. the woman dictates how it gets spent Do it depends you on the man we're that? talking about too. no it depends I'm on the man we're sorry. talking about some because, men don't listen no, actually, to all of that but actually actually that's where the that's whole the my money is our money and your yeah. money is your money came from because once the salary comes she mm -hmm. knows the salary is here oh we have to pay for this. Yeah. We have to pay for that. Yeah. We need to sort out the Again, house. Again, it We're depends on keep the kind this. of man. And it's not every man. Not every man functions do you that know, way. Do you know it's that? Not every, do see, you know that half, time, I've seen men half the that, time, don't, that don't take care of their wives. The woman even, even controls even what the man involve. wears. I know. Oh I know. Gosh, it's not in every case. I know, it's I, in most cases. Okay, majority yes, situation. Okay, yes, but it's not in every case. Can we admit that? Obviously. Okay. And you know that it's <laughs> not in every case mm -hmm. that history would tell you that women are not successful. They're not allowed to work. They're not allowed to do this. Yes, if you're talking about the ratio, yes, the percentage may be high. Mm -hmm. But I'm talking about in terms of we still had women that were successful from the beginning of time. Where, where? Which, which Do you understand? people? Relax. A lot of them. A lot. Which, which people? A lot. It's, okay. We have okay. the first doctor, female doctor, the first this, the first that. You, what uh, wait, 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 wait. When you said the wait, first doctor, wait, do you know how talking, many other doctors we're, talking about, that we're, we're talking about, that were men? We're talking about years ago. Do you know, the problem so now is, the problem about? is that uh, what the, the feminist movement, sorry, I'm going to call it the feminist movement now, they try to ride on history, right? And they try to change history so fast. Yeah. Do you understand? Yeah. And they, they still to want to history, acknowledge it. History so fast. And if wait, wait, wait. You, you minimizing history is, is, is... And they still want to acknowledge it, talking about, ah, the women are not allowed to... That, this, that is not coming into this conversation right now. That is talking Why about... Why would that not come into the a conversation? A few years ago. Let's talk about 20 years ago. Right. Have we had successful women? Have we had women that had that liberty to do whatever they like? And what is it? So what is still the, bringing what, it no, no, if, in if, this if, context? If, what you're not going to do is minimize... History. Or disregard history. history okay, we cannot be have relevant. that conversation. Well, we cannot get you to pick and choose when history works in our favor. No, it's not about picking and choosing. Think about reality, Ife. There is reality. Mm. The reality is that we had, had we have had an imbalance, okay? Mm. An so imbalance long. for yeah. so long that you cannot now say, okay, well, guys, that, that history is no longer um, um, what's it called in in, in master. So let, let's yeah. let's catch up and get and get it over and done with. No, it doesn't work that way. You have there's it takes so years so to one, catch so, up so, to that. Let, okay, let me, let me ask you system this. is solid. But are we going to move past that or are we going to bask in the past? We're trying to do that, but you're not going to move past, past, um, past that by just um, shoving people's realities. Um, I don't think realities. you're trying to do that anymore, all right? Okay. Um, I think it's going to a point where it's now about world domination. It's now a narcissist movement, unfortunately, because um, it's going to a point where it's not about how um, lo logic is now being thrown out of the way. All right? So this, there's this particular... Um, uh, football, a female football player that's uh, been clamoring about, uh, you know, equal pay between men and women and all of that stuff. Uh, do, do you agree? Do you agree with that? You know, equal pay between men and women who play football? I, I think e equality should be taken into context, right? Yes, yes. Um, it's not about looking the same. the same. And I always thing. I always have yeah, that conversation. Way, I'm not way, saying that, way. okay, pay, pay me the same, but you are you agree? valuing? I think women should be valued the same. They are being valued and they have been paid. Um, so this is it. So in male football, they might be average in terms of income mm -hmm. from brands. They might be averaging about, let's say, $10 billion. Mm -hmm. In female football, they're probably averaging about, what, 
50 million dollars mm. why should i pay you the amount that these people when we're not even making close to the amount of money that you're making why, well, why do I you mean? think why well, my point is this you know mm. I'm, I'm building up to a point i apologize okay. all right okay. so um that's just an instance all of these things right leads to the same point it's not about equality anymore it's not about being pro-female that's what i like to call it i don't like to use the word feminist anymore because it has a new meaning it's now about uh -huh. world but domination. But do you use Christianity the it's same? It's now about like, world okay. domination. Religion is a far first. It's a very, very sensitive topic. Why? And feminism <laughs> isn't? So you, now you're picking at oh, something which one is important. Oh, now you guys see feminism as a religion. Not that. Not oh, that is that what it is no, now? No, no. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, it should be a sensitive. You see why you can have this conversation you know I mean? on this table? No, because you guys, you guys also should be, be um, what's it called, be fair about your conversation. Yes, we are. Very. No, you cannot be. If you say that you don't like the word feminism. I am, I am and that. Female. Why are you changing the words? What? Because, because a lot of the meaning keeps now. changing. <laughs> but religion keeps changing. Why are you not? Why are you not calling yourself? Oh, I don't want to be a Christian anymore. I want to call myself oh, actually, uh, whatever. Jesus Christ has been spiritual. the same yesterday, day the same to, and, and tomorrow. And, 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 and do, you know, do you know that Christianity? Um, what's it called? Feminism has always remained the same. <laughs> No. That he has no. just because you decide to focus it on as soon no, 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 as no, 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 it doesn't just because you decide and to focus on the victim, card. just because you decide to focus on the, the people who get it wrong doesn't mean that the meaning changes. No, 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 it's when it's not about that, all right. I can see past all of this, okay. But so, what you is see, your issue? the moment it's, it's about the numbers. If out of 100, 70 people are shouting a particular thing, that are becomes a loudest voice. Are you kidding me? Are you, do you yes, know how? Do you know how much many... um, Christianity has been ridiculed? Even in your, in your, in your. See, you cannot see. You're, now you you're, now you're the one picking and choosing. No, you don't understand the rate of to. the damage. Mm -hmm. The thing is this. We're on social media these days, right? Mm. It's the new age. The it's rate the of the damage. World. You want me to bring out all the false Hold gospel um, um, pastors that are you're, talking in the virtual You're actually enjoying this. You know? you're, you're miss <laughs> this is giving me so much. You're missing the point. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. The whole advent of social media and taking its full effect mm -hmm. will probably target at what, 2008, 2010, basically, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right? Between 2010 and 2021, that's 11 years. Mm -hmm. A kid that was born in 2010 has a Twitter account, either you like it or not, mm -hmm. in this time and age. So when an 11-year-old kid goes on Twitter and sees a female, for instance, I was going to say you, but, you know, sees someone, a female says, oh, no, uh, women are, uh, men are this. They put us out for so long, mm -hmm. and now it's time to take back whatever any man wants. I don't care. You know, and phrases like that that you see almost every mm -hmm. day, mm -hmm. right? She every digests day. that. She lives. She begins to live that. Don't forget that at that particular age, all you do is absorb and form And so a your issue is it. their age and not the reality It's not things. about I'm the confused. age. It's about you spinning a new reality to a next generation. And that's, that's the but reason that's why you not call it... But that's a good that, that, thing. But that's a good thing. No, a good if you're spinning thing. equality that, to a new that, generation, that, that, it's that great. That new generation is going to grow to have liberty at a young age. Not this no, women No, they're going to grow being lost. extra. Extra is good sometimes. No, as as domination. For, as long as it's for the good of the female gender. Now, you see a lot of girls that did not have self-esteem because they saw their mothers being the one that cooked, that cleaned, that did this, that did that. And they believe it is their role to do that in their own relationship. But this woke generation is passing that message that, look, there's equality. If you're in a relationship, a the balance. man, there should be a yes. balance. So it's and a good I'm fine thing. With that. Dissemination of information through social media to the younger generation to empower them absolutely beautiful yes but not so teaching i have nothing them, against that not teaching them if we have to teach them domination. about gender domination Gen no that's equality. what it is perfect D gender domination that's what gender, it is gender <laughs> domination is what it is why you're so threatened that we want to be i am not funny story so, i am not so, uh, no, just, just because... You As I said, I am pro-female, but logic has to take its course. Uh, and, and logic... It, it, logic logic is for you is equality. Li limited. Okay. And right? then what's your issue? Gender domination. Huh? I've been saying that all okay, through Okay, but what... No, you can say the gender domination, but you're not, you're not, you're not giving me what that means. The because thing you can, is... You the can thing say is, that. Okay, all right. I think... Yourself. Okay, so a what's lot of people... A lot of people want, don't what? want to say this. A Sorry, lot of men... Wait, did you just hear that? I said you want everything for yourself. Could you repeat your answer? What's the problem with that? You can't eat your cake and have it. That's the problem with oh that. My God. Wait, I don't understand. You there's, don't see a problem with that. that there's, no, there's a problem with me wanting life for myself. Everything. No, everything for yourself. You can uh, have what, everything. Everything. Meaning? Narcissists. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's move on.
one because this conversation will not finish. Um, battled Nigerian singer and songwriter Orisha Femi has finally broken his silence. It can wow. be recalled that the double Wahala singer sparked cheating rumors following his wife and Nabilia Fash outburst on social media. On Monday, the singer's wife had alleged that an unknown woman, um, when she branded the woman as an imbecile, not me, came to her matrimonial home to have sexual intercourse while she was at work. Um, since then, social media has been buzzing with the news of the cheating scandal. The lady, Kara, the former manager of the singer, chastised him for his dirty deeds while siding his wife as well. She also shared his, um, her unpleasant experience with the singer. Orisha Femi has decided to clear the air while he has reacted to the brewing drama. And I quote, if I ever had sex yesterday with anybody, yeah. let me die on timely. That's him or not me. And I'm leaving in peace. Wait, Bye. Why, you, why are you putting a disclaimer? That's him. Or... Uh, but yeah. I was, uh, <laughs> before before I, the I thing will just go up on. <laughs> by mistake. Just, I don't know who's listening, who's taking things literally. Uh, the angel that is passing. You know, like, mm -mm. <laughs> Let's not do any of that. Uh, this story is very pathetic in my opinion. But um, I want to know you guys. Because I feel like there's already a gender imbalance. You guys are more than the women yeah, right like, now. Oh, wow. No, no, no. Yeah, friends, so, friends, so, so, friends. So, yes. I'll tell, so, I'll tell you this. I've been watching you guys. I've been watching you guys before now. Mm. And yeah, this is how it feels to be the other. You know, yeah, the other yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's how it feels to be me. That's how it feels to be me. Yeah. Oh, yeah, enjoy it. Enjoy Although it. I'm objective. Right. Mm, I can see that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. So objective. But I want, I want you guys' take. Uh, what I want your take on exactly is the cheating in Nigeria. Mm. It seems to be very like, um, what's the word? Order today. Yes. And um, nobody really gets moved. Even, even this conversation now, it's more about get out of my sight. I don't really care. But if the tables were flipped and the woman was the one that was called out for cheating, I think the the explosion would have been a lot more grand. True. So I want to know from your perspective, where did we go wrong in terms of really just normalizing cheating in Nigeria? When people like David O'Star singing, now holy grand way I run to. What? <laughs> what? Okay, explain. What? That's the holy ground, man. That's why he's so ah, disturbing. Ah. And so, okay, I'll just mess you. You have to be messing with <laughs> You have to be. What? What are you talking about? All right, so um, when I saw the story, it hurt me a lot because um, I was thinking, you cheated in your matrimonial home, mm. in your matrimonial bed. That's yeah. very disrespectful. Yes, women lie, men lie. It's alleged. But, <laughs> alleged anyways mm. yeah women lie men lie no i'm just being i'm very objective i'm being yeah. objective That's about the whole, the whole situation so, now we should take it we should do a photo shoot objective gang oh. <laughs> <laughs> so if you do that on your match you have no regard whatsoever for your wife mm. yeah but if you're now, in the hotel then you have some regard yeah then you put it's some respect, respect on the oh name respect. yeah you just you just you just sprinkle it's like it's like how you it's like how you, you how get. you eat at home mm. But sometimes you just go to you know fast food, just mm. buy no, no. Let me explain quick, it better. You know, let meat me explain pie. It better. Oh, meat pie is nice, but you know you're going back home to eat the main food. Wow. No, no. Let me explain. <laughs> it better. You know how you go to a restaurant and you can't crack the bone? Yeah. And when you're home and go all oh, animals, yeah. you come out. <laughs> you come out. Right. Yeah. Okay. That's the difference. Mm. Yeah. So yeah. this one, you think that's crack. always the main. When you dish. go to the hotel, mm. you're not cracking the bone. Mm. You get all the disrespect. But when you do it at home, you won't use fork and knife. <laughs> Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. All right. uh -huh. So basically, what I'm trying to say is, um, if this is true, it's quite disrespectful, considering the fact that their marriage is just young, which is why I'm still going to come back to the people get married for the right reasons. Mm. Because I don't want to know why my marriage will be like three years old, four years old, and already I'm already having this type of public scandal. Do mm. you know what I'm like, it's too... It's too soon for that to be happening. So for years, you'll like be like, mm, well, okay. if it was like a few more years, that would even be another problem because you'd be like, how, how have you been staying with this person? That's what you've been doing. Mm. So you can never satisfy the world. Mm. <laughs> Do you understand? Deep. <laughs> Deep. But at the end of the day, eh, the truth is women lie, men lie. That was mm. what I started with. If it was a woman, yes, mm. the tables would be flipped, we would be shouting, ah, mm. we men, and then cheats pass, 93% of women are but, there. But and, actually, um, <clears throat> sorry, I, I don't want you to feel bad, but statistically... Um, women cheat more than men. Yeah. It's, it's I, I really doubt that. Uh, they the say, US, but I doubt uh, it uh, as uh, a man. Uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, a survey in the US, um, mm. a survey in the UK. Uh, I think it was, one was Oxford, one was, uh, you know, all of that, and then, yeah. Uh, that women cheat more yeah, than men. Yeah, but they're, it's, they're it's, best at hiding it. So it's like, um, you know, if I if I say how many people have you slept with now, <laughs> the default 
a default woman, uh, the default answer from an average woman is to divide it by two first and then think about it and probably take out two again. And mm -hmm. then maybe I'm not minus five and then tell you. And then it's like, oh, just two people. I don't think so. <laughs> okay, so we're not going to focus. I don't think okay, so. We're not going to right, focus let's, on the let's, 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 let's talk okay. about this. Let me just um, really conclude this because um, at the end of the day, when you're talking about um, your wife cheating on you, and if it's a woman who did it and how the world will take it, they still boil down to the same patriarchal society. Mm. Because imagine the pressure that is on a man that his wife cheated on him. Mm. A lot of people will say, you're not doing something right. You're not mm. providing. Yeah. What did yeah. you do? Yeah. Are you not satisfying yeah. her in bed? Are you not giving mm. her enough money? Why is she looking out there? Is that man a better provider? Is he richer than you? Those are the things that people begin to look for the moment a woman begins to cheat. Mm. Yeah. But if it's a man, it's like, ah, you we suppose she I swear. You get the money to value mm. your damn knee. Yeah. Mm. You understand? So it still boils down to that patriarchal. So I think that's why the coins get flipped mm. every time it's a man and every time and when it's a woman. Mm. So a woman, the man is the problem. Okay, so let, okay, in your in your closet talk, right? Your what do you call that? It? There's a proper phrase for it. I can't it's remember. Bro code. We don't share. Ah, sorry, my bad. See straight face. Um, when when you guys are alone, right? In you know talking about yeah. stuff, right? Do you is it glorified if I say if I'm a man and I say that I was cheating on my not, wife? Not 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 in recent times. Right. Not in recent times. No, I know so when see, there was a time see, it was a bragging right. You see, right. um, it, it depends on the circle you move with, mm. right? But on my table, I don't think no man would you know wholeheartedly just come and say, oh. I get one bit where I deal with you the other day. And mm. we all yeah, know you're nobody talks like that. We all know you're married. Do you, mm. know, do you know what I mean? No, it's wrong to do that. If you do that in front of me, I'd, I'd say, no, you don't have respect for your wife because mm. now we all know that you're cheating on your wife. Yeah. And then we all have to now smile. But if I bump yeah. into you, you in the I mean? hotel and then I see you with another shot, uh, we chop just, uh, we move and we don't talk about so, it again. Uh, uh, you don't yeah, have to Nice one, up. nice one. Everybody moves. The world yeah, rotates. Moves. But in this situation, <laughs> I feel really bad for her because. Mm. Um, Post, series of posts, series of Insta stories, you mm. know, talking about how uh, everyone's out here looking for money, mm. and the first thing you want to do early in the morning is come to my house, mm. my matrimonial home, and sleep with my husband, you know, and all of that stuff. It really hurt. It was really hurtful. But at the same time, um, she was really clamoring on whoever the girl was, mm. and I think if she really felt like someone came to the house to sleep with her husband, her husband should really feel the wrath mm. because. Now the guy open gates. Mm. Now he open door. Now he open bedroom. It's like four doors. <laughs> <laughs> they had a chance to make a decision, you know, yeah. make another yeah. decision. Do you get what I mean? Mm. And he did whatever he did, if he did it. Mm. But now he's swearing to God that, you know, he should die on timely death. What, what, would, what would make you people bring it on social media, though? But you know, that's a problem in itself, though. Because if you're saying the day before, as in what's happening between you and wife, your wife that you're not doing things? Yeah. What do you mean? Yeah, How will you be swearing that if I had sex yesterday. in a certain yesterday. period of time? Yeah, that, 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 see, that yesterday was a bit like, you're, you're obviously not saying this thing with your full chest. So that means we, we just got the dates wrong. Yeah. So it could be that you... It could have been that day. The, the, yeah, the, the day posted. Maybe yeah. last week. You're not in itself, no, about size that too. Him and his wife, he just shows a level of closeness because, you know, you should be doing a day before, a, a minute ago. No, I think, I think he was just waiting for it. I think he was just waiting for her to say her piece before he butts in. Mm. I think that's what happened, to be honest. Mm. I mean, the whole thing is a bit off, in my opinion. I don't. Yeah. I don't. I think. I think, I think they, sh they should sort this out privately. I, th there's yeah, some I times where, I, I mean, I, from her perspective, even though I can't really hold it too seriously because we women say that a lot, and we still go back to tomorrow. But from her, from the story, it looked oh, like mm, it looked like <laughs> she was saying that you know she's this has some this is something that has been happening many times, mm. and that. And um, there's nothing wrong with her loving. So I can, you can see that she's already like kind of contemplating why she even like took the man back or sort of, you know, like why she's even in the relationship, but then she's had enough and all of that. I think, I think um, women need to start to come to that conclusion that you cannot just change a man. Mm. We always enter the relationship thinking we would definitely change this person and that we have the, the, the juice to be able to do no, that. Well, a lot of times it works. I you don't see, think no, so. So this is it, right? I think you guys don't really get it most times. When a woman tries to change a man, <coughs> either you like it or not, first things first, when you leave with someone consistently or you have a consistent relationship mm. with somebody, it's bound, the person is bound to rub off on you. Yeah. Either from what they say, what they do, yeah. and stuff like that. Mm. Do you understand? But um, in such situations, it becomes a conscious thing. Mm. 
Do you understand? I've been in such a relationship before and it, it was really weird for me. I, it was like too much pressure because I had to put it at the top of my head at every point in time and I think a lot of men do that. Mm. You get what I mean? So um, I think it actually works, but it might not just suit or get to the level where the woman really wants it to be. Mm. Do you understand? My more than 100% right, so change was 80%. Question. Is it a deal breaker, <clears throat> right? Because you're a public figure and then you're having a problem with, you know, family issues, matrimonial issues, mm. and then your wife takes it to social media. For me, it's a deal breaker, but I don't know. Do you think it's a deal breaker? And not, as for you as well, if you're married to a man and you're the popular one, and your guy, you have an issue, and he takes it to social media to blast you, is he a deal breaker? It, it, it depends on, the, it depends on one, Let's uh, talk about my this job description. Mm. One, my job description. Mm. If, if it was, you know, what I'm doing at the moment, it's not. Mm. And I just have to address it, but I wouldn't exactly address it in public. Yeah. I try to fix it at home first, yeah. and then post loving pictures. But you already addressed it in public. Yeah, we yeah, already have a perception about yeah, that, you. That's if you, you have don't a address publicist. it in public, a lot of people will riot with us. But that's the publicist's uh, problem to think about now. <laughs> yes, now. I, all I have to do is fix my situation with my wife. Mm. I, I, it's, a, it's a very big... I, you see, those, kind, those type of people, I think you already know before you enter the relationship whether or not their social media triggered or... Or not? It'll be a formal. A huh? sign form. A I, I, I mean, I, there's some people that you already that. know. Bring certain things. Because no, I, it's just true. Because it's a deal breaker for me. The moment I have... If it's as bad as the Johnny Depp situation, then ah, it's a deal oh, breaker. Yeah, okay. No, no, that one is crazy, man. Fingers went off. <laughs> you Bro. get me? But in this case now, I'm talking about... The fact that you know I'm popular and you feel like you're going to get some traction from the public because you're talking about my situation in my private you think life. That's what, you think that's what triggered her? Is that what it is, it is really? I don't it's think that's that, what it no, is, Zoe no, no, It's not what triggered her. It's the way you handle whatever trigger. Whatever trigger you have it, look for a different way to marry. What if I was not popular? Would you bring it to social media I think to this, talk this, about this, it? This girl, I think she would have. No. I think she would have. I, I strongly I doubt think she would have. I don't woman, think it was about I social media any woman and social would media club. Man that is not so do you know how many men do Are this? Are you on kidding a, on me? A daily, he said, do you I don't know how get many men on social media? Talk about? Do you know? See, you need to come to my Instagram. Maybe oh. just by opening Instagram. Do you know how many people bring their dirty laundry to Instagram on a daily for basis? For unpopular people. For unpopular people. See, pe pe women are very emotional. emotional. And see, there's some things that and will they'll happen. And they'll put his name there, like, I can find the man. Huh, okay, we'll see this guy. In this case, I can find this guy. I know who if he I, is. Forget, he'll probably forget, come and do forget, business forget, with me. forget, 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 And then you look at him like, yeah, a serial cheater. Cheat. Forget yeah. fame. People go to, go to social media for, see, there's a lot of women, eh, that I, I can already tell. I have a lot of friends right now that can tell these people are happy. These people just got a deal from their Twitter alone. yeah. yeah. Facts. 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 It's not about being popular, yeah. who you're dating, yeah. based on how they're feeling. If they just not well, I can tell. Because by, oh, the, the, all of a sudden, the, the tweets, are, the people that they're retweeting, the people that they're reposting, all of a sudden, you know, yeah, has that ending. Uh, yeah. Do you understand yeah, what I'm trying yeah. to say? Women are I like agree. that. And if, if, if it moves them that much, they would take it to social media. But anyway. I want to announce something really quickly for the people who are in healthy relationships. Yeah, like and, us. Uh, uh, sure. Like people that are in healthy relationships, you know, people who Congress don't have bro. these, Thank these, you, um, um, re, um, what do you call it now? <laughs> 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 these people that don't have all these issues and stuff, you know, they are in loving, kind relationships. This is for you, actually. And if you're single and you know that maybe there might be somebody that will come for Valentine, this might also be for you. Basically, you stand a chance to win a Valentine's goodie bag, come courtesy on. of Iroko Yoruba Rewa and Ruby's Uruko Bistro. Iroko Yoruba Rewa. That's what I said. And Ron Bistro. That's what I said, if it, that's what I said, isn't it? Uruko Yoruba That's Rewa. what I said. Uruko Yoruba Rewa. The name of Yoruba name uh -huh. is beautiful. Uruko Yoruba Yeah, that's what I said. Uruko Yoruba Rewa. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. That's what I said. Ten winners will be selected on February 14th of 2021. All you need to do is follow um, the Instagram pages at Plus TV Africa at Yoruba name dot meanings at Yoruba name dot meanings and at Ruby's Bistro. So that's R U M B I E S Bistro B I S T R O. Drop a comment telling us why you would like to win the Valentine's goodie bag and at least and tag at least five of your friends. You can tag me if I'm your friend. So good luck with that. And if you share something then obviously come and tell me yeah. about it.